What's going on guys, Sassin here, welcome to GTA Online, today I'm counting down the top 5 methods that you could possibly use to make money in this game, so let's get started. So yeah, this video is for you just in case you don't have enough money to buy stuff, especially in the latest update which is a bunker where you have to purchase a lot of stuff like the bunker and the mobile organization and all these damn vehicles with the weapons in them. Yeah, these cost millions and millions of dollars, so in case you don't have these millions of dollars and you're looking for the fastest methods to make money, then this video is for you, I will show you the 5 best money making methods you could ever possibly use in this game to make money fast and easy but before i get started let me just say that this is just my personal opinion all right there might be other money making methods that you would prefer over these ones all right so this is just my opinion on the best money making methods in this game and these are the methods that i have been using in this game and i was able to purchase a lot of stuff as you can see i have a bunker i have a vehicle uh, storage i have a storage for regular uh, cargoes and stuff i have mobile organizations at the bunker i purchased a lot of stuff by using this method so yeah this method will guarantee you to be able to make a decent amount of money so you could uh, you know you could buy stuff uh, from time to time anyways yeah without further ado let's get right into counting down the top five best methods of making money in this game so uh, yeah let's get right to it so number five in my list let me just park the car right here there we go and go into my mobile so yeah number five in my list is pretty simple and it's basic for the beginners it's the contact missions the reason i chose contact mission to be number five and the best money making methods in this game is because it's so simple and easy and at the same exact time it makes decent amount of money so any beginner any beginner can do these contact missions and he will make this amount of money which is pretty decent comparing to the fact that you don't really need to do anything to start them you can start them at any level and you can do them without even paying a penny also they are win guaranteed because it's not a versus match or it's not a match at all where you what do you want assistant no i don't want to do anything now okay so i'm looking for a contact mission right now so what i was saying is that it is not a match it is not a challenge with other players where you win or lose and if you win you get a lot of money if you lose you get a minimum amount of money no it's actually a regular mission all right it's actually a completely 100% regular contact mission that where you cooperate with other players and yeah it's guaranteed for you to win it also one thing that I like very much about the contact missions is that it's not necessary for you to play with other players you can play it by yourself and that's actually really awesome and amazing you know because the fact that you can start it by yourself makes the money making method is even more guaranteed so even if you can't find other players to play with you can do the missions by yourself take out the lawyer or do whatever the hell the mission wants from you and you will make easy and amount of money fast and simple now the amount of money you can make from the contact missions could go up to twenty thousand dollars or thirty thousand dollars and at some points you can make up to forty thousand dollars but i don't think you can make more than that let's kill this damn lawyer first but i still think that's a decent amount of money because remember you did not pay a single penny to start the mission so yeah this is all clean hundred percent profit also you can do them at any level any level you want even if you started the game yesterday even if you started the online multiplayer yesterday you will be able to do contact missions and make all the money free and easy some contact missions may require you to be at a certain level but most of the contact missions are very easy to get to and could be accessible at the very early stage in the game so yeah in my opinion the contact missions are a very good method to make money fast and easy in this game and even though they don't make that much money i mean maybe 20 to 40 thousand dollars is not that much to some people but considering that you don't pay a penny to start a contact mission and considering that you can do them anytime you want even if you started the game just now you can still do contact missions at early stages of the game then i think that's a fair deal and i personally think that the contact missions is the best money making method for beginners obviously not for advanced players who start the game and have a lot of money and can start their own businesses and stuff but if you are a beginner then totally totally go for the contact missions they're so simple and easy they will make you a guaranteed amount of money so yeah that's the first money making method i wanted to talk about the contact missions they're so simple and easy you can do them at any stage stage of the game and they are free to do you don't have to pay anything so yeah 20 to 40 thousand dollars is a pretty decent amount of money considering all these advantages now as for number four i would go with the double money adversary mod which is probably the featured adversary mod they're both the same exact thing the featured adversary mod is probably definitely a double money adversary mod so the double money adversary mod is basically adversary mods where they pay you double the amount of money that you will make in any other adversary mod i thought that's self-explanatory 
What I like about this method is that even if you lose, even if you lose a game, you will still get paid a decent amount of money. So it's a win-win. If you win, you will get paid a ton of money. If you lose, you will still get paid a decent amount of money, which is not bad. Also, another thing I like about this method is that there are a lot of players that keep looking for it all the time. So you will always find populated lobbies for it and you will always find jobs really fast and easy for this certain methods as you can see i found a job and it launched in literally less than one minute so yeah like i said guys these uh, double money adversary mods or this uh, featured adversary mods or whatever actually takes very very little amount of time to find a job because a lot of people look for it and this is very important actually because other jobs actually take a very long time to find so yeah the fact that you can find the adversary uh, mods fast and easy is pretty good and pretty so yeah the fact that you can actually find the adversary mod fast and easy and the fact that it's actually pretty fun to do i mean the missions of the adversary mods are actually a little bit different than the regular missions then i think that this uh, adversary mod method is really fun and and it's really entertaining actually also like I said it will make you a lot of money whether you win or lose in both sides you will actually make a decent amount of money so yeah this method is 100% guaranteed all right the next method is actually one of my favorite methods that I used to do for a very long time and it's actually trying to snipe the highest finales what that means is basically trying to catch the highest finales from looking for a random job through the phone let me show you right now basically all you gotta do is to just look for a random heist using your phone and when you find the heist that is not a finale just go and search for another heist real quick before it launches and that's basically how you do it you keep doing that until you find the heist finale how would you recognize the heist finale it's pretty simple and easy it doesn't have a dash in it i mean all the heist missions have a dash in it and two names in both sides the heist finales are the only missions that do not have two names oh crap some missions actually start right up we'll see what that is okay that's not a heist finale let's get out of here so that's basically what sniping heist finales is you keep repeating uh, heist looking missions over and over again and again until you find the heist finale and the heist finales are the best paying uh, missions in the entire game actually you can get paid up to quarter million dollars in a single heist finale which is pretty insane so yeah you will never get paid that amount of money in any other mission in the entire game ever and there you go I found the heist finale finally so how long did that take me I think it took me three or four tries so yeah it's not really that long i mean the time could be a disadvantage but it's not really that long i mean it's one uh, to five chances really it's actually more than one to five chances because the first heist only has one setup so yeah it's actually more than one to five chances i'll say one to four or one to three somewhere in between and there you go now i'm starting the heist finale and it happens to be in the same exact location i'm at what the hell was that and as you can see it is very rewarding like as you can see i have 101 thousand dollars in this mission alone so yeah it is extremely rewarding for you to do this method so yeah as i told you guys before this method is extremely useful just try to snipe the heist finales as much as possible and once you get the heist finale you'll be good to go you will go and do the heist finale and get a good cut out of the final money that gets within the heist so as i showed you right now my cut from this heist is hundred and one thousand dollars which is pretty a lot actually so yeah this is a really cool method of making money in this game and i would say it's one of the best ones you could ever possibly do within the game all right so the second method is the bunker stocks with full upgrades well obviously as you can see i'm focusing the entire team on the research right now because i'm trying to get a certain research but i've tried selling stocks in the bunker before and let me tell you that it's extremely rewarding and profitable if you actually have the full upgrades every upgrade that there is by upgrades i mean these the equipment upgrade check the staff upgrade check i'm not exactly sure about the security upgrade to be honest but i think it's necessary just get it just in case so if you have all these three upgrades actually you will sell your stocks for minimum seven hundred thousand dollars and maximum a million and fifty thousand dollars which is insane the best mc business there is actually sells for four hundred thousand dollars is the cocaine factory or whatever so this actually is better than the best mc business by three hundred thousand dollars minimum the only thing you need to do is to keep supplying yourself and you can supply by either stealing supplies or buying supplies by fifteen thousand dollars or whatever the amount of money thirty thousand dollars seventy five thousand dollars it depends on the amount of supplies that you need however even if you keep buying supplies because you're too lazy to steal supplies you will still make a decent amount of money because like i said the stock level could go up to 
$700,000 and even up to a million and fifty thousand dollars which is crazy so yeah obviously the bunker is one of the best methods of making money in this game but the only downside to it is that you have to keep resupplying it now it's time to go to the number one best money making method in this game which is importing and exporting vehicles yes this without the least bit of a doubt is the best money making method in the entire game and I have a lot of reasons to think so first of all you can do it either solo or with your friends whatever suits you if you have friends to do it with fine if you don't have friends and you want to do it all alone fine second of all it's extremely profitable if you do it solo you will make up to three hundred and twenty thousand dollars an hour and if you do it with friends you can make up to a million dollars an hour which is crazy actually like I don't think it's possible to make a million dollars an hour but you can actually make a million dollars in a single hour with this method third of all and that's the most important part in my opinion is that you make the deliveries with fast vehicles so you don't have to worry about being shot or being killed by a random player as much as you have to worry in other businesses so it's extremely profitable you can make up to three hundred and twenty thousand dollars in solo and you can make up to a million dollars with the help of your friends it is time consuming because you can make a delivery once every 20 minutes unlike the other businesses where you have to wait a very long time to make the deliveries and you make the deliveries with fast cars unlike the MC businesses for example where you make the deliveries with the slowest trucks in the history of existence in the vehicles import and export you make the deliveries with fast cars so you are a little bit safer from the fact that you could be exploded by a random player in the session so basically all these reasons are why I think the vehicles import and export is the best money making method in the entire game as you can see I made a hundred thousand dollars by just delivering the car and that's amazing and you can make up to three hundred twenty thousand dollars alone and up to a million dollars by the help of your friends and in my opinion if you combine the vehicles import and export with the bunker stocks you will actually make millions of dollars so easy and simple and you'll be able to purchase anything in the game whatever it is now at the end of the video let me tell you the ultimate money making method in this game which is punching people who take selfies at the beach because they're extremely rich like people who take selfies at the beach are always the richest people come back here come back here selfie taking beach person that come on holy shit he's supposed to be slow because he's fat 11 dollars yeah i'll be a millionaire in no time